Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to show you several ways how you can create and display plans from Planner in uh, SharePoint Online on the SharePoint site or page. Uh, let me show you the three ways to do so. So option number one, uh, you can, uh, if you want to embed the plan um, from Planner on your SharePoint page, you just click the edit button, hover over the area where you want to embed it, uh, choose the Planner web part right here. And um, what you can do is just, uh, uh, because we don't have uh, the plan, typically you would just have a drop down. Let's say you already have five or six plans that exist for this uh, group, for this uh, team site. Obviously you can uh, just choose one, we don't have any. So let's just uh, add, um, you know, uh, one of the plans, hit create. And what will happen, obviously, it will create a plan behind the scenes and planner, but then we can embed either the chart or the board, or anything like that. Obviously, because it's new, let's just embed the board. Let's see how it looks like. We republish the page, and here it is. Uh, obviously, for the full functionality, you would need to go to uh, your actual planner tool, but here you can still create tasks and assign them, you know, supply comments, you know, even add uh, buckets, etc. All right, so that was option number one. Uh, the other option uh, would be to link to a uh, plan from Quick Links. And what I really like about this option, actually, let, let me show you. So let's edit the navigation link. Uh, you don't even need to go to a planner to grab the uh, URL of your plan. What you can do is this, hit the plus sign and the link over here. Um, it gives you all the links automatically already. Because when I created this team site, because it's a Microsoft 365 group site, it also created a calendar in Outlook and uh, you know notebook and uh, plan and planner. So here we go. It automatically gives me a choice to link to a plan in planner. All right. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Click OK. And now let's click Save. And essentially what's going, what, what's going to happen, uh, let me open this up uh, in the new tab. Uh, it's going to open uh, that plan that um, um, you know, we just uh, created um, you know, and essentially, but it's going to obviously open it in plan. All right, um, so uh, that was that. And yeah, I want to actually uh, highlight your attention uh, that it did create a new plan with this option, all right? Uh, it was not the other plan we created. It was uh, a new plan uh, that got created as a result, all right? Uh, let me show you option number three, uh, another cool option, all right? So what you need to do is, so let me go to my homepage. If you click on this new dropdown over here, we also have an option to create a plan, all right? And let's, let me carry you through the process. I'm going to give it a name. Maybe we are going to um, you know, give it uh, a name just like that, something distinct right here. We can also link an existing plan as well, all right, if we want. But let's create a new one. And I'm going to hit Create. And look what happens. What actually happens, it embeds the plan right on the site. Remember with the first option I showed you, we kind of embedded it as a web part on the page, you know, with all the other web parts. Here, it actually creates a link, but it also on the quick um, launch navigation, but it also embeds it on the site. So pretty much you have the full width of your site, of your page to manage your content, all right? You do not compete with other par, you know, web parts on your page, all right? Um, and this is just another view. This is just, I guess, another way for you to visualize uh, the same uh, you know, kind of plan without leaving the convenience of your site, all right? So again, you know, this were the three options. Again, you can embed the plan uh, on your page as a web part. You can link to it from Quick Links, or you can, uh, again, you know, link it from Quick Links, but also um, add it essentially uh, kind of embed it on your site, if you will, not necessarily a page. So you, you get to see the full view. All right, so that's all I wanted to show you today. Hopefully you learned uh, something new today. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.